John Davis has compiled one of the most enviable resumes in all of broadcasting, having enjoyed parallel careers as senior executive producer for not one, but two of Maryland Public Television's landmark national series. While pursuing a degree in mechanical and aerospace engineering from NC State University, John gravitated toward broadcasting and landed a radio announcing job at WPAK Radio. After earning his MBA from the University of North Carolina, John landed on Wall Street, working as a transportation analyst. In 1973, John left the Big Apple behind and joined the Maryland Center for Public Broadcasting as producer of the fledgling Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeyser. This local show grew into a national powerhouse and John would serve as its executive producer for more than 32 years. For most producers, launching the most popular financial news program in the U.S. would be enough, but John not so secretly harbored the desire for a TV program about America's love affair with the automobile. So in 1978, when my uh, boss, Warren Park, came in and said, okay, you've been producing somebody else's idea, how about trying something on your own? It was certainly in the back of my mind that I'd like to try to bring the automotive magazine to television. I'd been thinking about it for a long time. And the uh, concept was shown around the stations. And uh, it sat on the shelf for a couple of years and really uh, didn't get off the dime until 1981 when we found out another station was going to do a, a car-oriented show. And we went on in October of 81 and been on ever since. Motor Week has evolved into the authoritative voice for car information on TV, and John has become one of the most respected auto experts anywhere. As the EP and host of Motor Week, John Davis is seen by more than 35 million people each year on PBS, Velocity, American Forces Television, and in Spanish, C si en Español on Beme. Yet, John has always maintained that the cars are the stars and never tires of answering that frequently posed question, what car should I drive? After all, with millions of miles behind the wheel in thousands of new vehicles, if John can't answer that, then nobody can. John's career at Maryland Public Television has netted a lifetime of memories but it has been the legions of loyal viewers all around the world who have benefited the most from John's efforts. And for that, John, we salute you tonight. So come drive with us next.